Hi folks, it's Dr. Christine Sauer here and I wanted to do a science review again about obesity, one of my favorite topics since I myself have been morbidly obese at 325 pounds in 2006, uh, have lost 150 pounds and kept most of it off for the past 18 years. So I have some credibility as a physician and a naturopath. I also understand the background and am truly qualified to help people uh, lose weight and keep it off in the long term because it's not that hard to lose a weight. It's much, much harder to keep it off and it requires more than just a diet or exercise. It requires what I call a soulful nutrition lifestyle or the art of soulful living. And I am teaching that and if you're interested, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to tell you more about it. Now here I read today that obesity affects more than 1 billion people around the world. This is Medscape, one of the magazines for physicians that is usually quite well researched. Now, more than a billion children, adolescents and adults are living with obesity globally. Now, that is quite concerning with rates of obesity among children and adolescents quadrupling. That means four times as much in the last 30 years. So that is not good. They tripled among adult men and more than doubled among women. Wow. Underweight have declined. Now, obesity is the most common form of malnutrition. Now, note that it is malnutrition. That means it's bad nutrition. We are, as obese people, we are not well nourished. And it's not just our body that is not well nourished and often we have a nutrient deficiency. We suffer from toxins, so-called obesogens. And of course, the processed food diet is not healthy. There's also the soul is often undernourished. Our mind is undernourished and we are starving for emotional affection, recognition and uh, positive attention or love and we are replacing it with food. So that said, it is quite interesting how obesity is increasing in a world that really has plentiful, you think. But really do we, and that is something to think about. It's not just that obesity is increasing, but ask yourself why is it increasing? Why are people getting bigger and bigger? Is it just the increase of agriculture and toxins? Is it just that people are more sedentary and don't have to work physically anymore? Is it just that our genes change, the education style changes, the parenting changes? What is it really? Now, in the next months and years, I will examine that more and I will teach on the true causes of obesity and about different ways to help because different people need a different approach. One nutrition style, and I am purposefully not using the word diet, one nutrition style does not work for everyone. That is important to notice. The same with supplementation. One supplement does not work for everyone. The same with medication. One medication does not work for everyone. I will talk about supplements. I will talk about medication that address or are supposed to address obesity. I will talk about weight loss surgery. I know intimately about weight loss surgery. I myself had uh, weight loss surgery, gastric bypass in India in 2006. My husband had the lab band in Montreal in 2012 and then followed by a gastric bypass because he had complications with the lab band in 2016. So I've studied the methods and treatments for obesity of varying degrees in extension. I've also studied how people can keep their weight off 
the excess weight off in the long term and transition to a healthy lifestyle and to a really soulful life. I call it the art of soulful living with passion, purpose, energy. Their food is not the main nutrient of the soul anymore. Now, that is enough for today. It is really interesting that obesity is so common in Polynesia, even on the island, South Sea Island, in the Middle East, North Africa. It seems that the more processed food gets everywhere, the more obesity we get. Hmm. I will share some insights of other obesity researchers and I think I can help you understand the root causes and maybe even tackle them and not only keep the weight, uh, get the, take the weight off, but also keep it off. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.